Okay guys, uh, just a follow up about the water leak problem. Um, I don't know if you can see back there, there's some gray stuff. Where's the grommet at for the uh, cables passing the firewall? Um, what happened with the water leak? Actually, uh, the, the next time the car got into the dealer, uh, the, the grommet was completely out of the way. The first dealer botched their job and uh, so they had to replace that, uh, that grommet. Um, so uh, they put it back, but it was still leaking from over there. So uh, they put some kind of uh, urethane uh, glue uh, to make it watertight, but the water was still coming in the truck. Uh, they told me it's uh, a seal uh, when they fabricate the truck. I don't know if it's the windshield or I wasn't there, so uh, they never told me. The tech never told me exactly where it was coming from, but the water, you know, was coming from a, a, about this position. It was leaking from this pedal, it was leaking on this uh, cover. Uh, actually, the uh, uh, electronic card uh, beneath the cover where everything connects is a bit corroded, but I put some uh, uh, cleaner and electric grease. So, um, yeah, the water was coming from over there, you know, leaking all over this place. So it seems that it's it's a seal uh, on a bit higher than this position. It's a, a seal that, that's done when they fabricate the truck that was leaking, but ever so slightly. Yeah, for sure the water was coming in. You know that fucking mask now. Uh, so uh, there was no leak from the OnStar antenna. There was no leak from uh, the lights or whatever. It's just a... Uh, watertight joint they, they they make when they fabricate the car that was leaking so for now uh, it's been raining pretty heavily a couple times and there's no more water coming in the truck and uh, guys I'm gonna wish you good luck if you ever run into uh, one of these problem with these trucks sometimes it's a pretty night pretty uh, it's a nightmare my truck had to sit about uh, two weeks at the garage they spent almost a full week's work on top of the the truck to uh, try to figure out that leak uh, it was a pain in the ass because i needed the truck and uh, the dealer is about uh, 200 kilometer away from where i live so it's a pain in the ass and you uh, get disappointed when you pay uh, about 110 thousand canadian dollar for a freaking truck like this but now the water leak is fixed and uh, i'm pretty grateful uh, for the dealer they, they i do believe they did an outstanding job. Alright guys, good luck.